what is up guys how is everybody doing i am tiff welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome make sure you subscribe so you know when all my future readings come out this is going to be a general reading it's not going to resonate for everybody take what resonates leave what doesn't don't force it to fit if you would like a personal all that information's in the description box below my my voice is still raspy i am shit, getting getting over a little cold bear with me if i sniffle don't be tripping okay Anywho, hit that like button and definitely send some love my way. Let's get right into this. The song is Jelly Roll Save Me. Somebody save me, me from myself. I spent so long living in hell. I know my lifestyle's bad for my health. It's the only thing that seems to help, right? Y'all know I never start out with no cards, right? But as this song is channeling, right? So I'm feeling like using these cards and I pull out these cards because I feel like I need to use these cards, right? And as I pick them up to set them over here and get out, out of the way, the song is playing and it, it says, all of this drinking and smoking is hopeless, but feels like it's all that I need. Something inside of me is broken. I hold on to anything that I don't need. I'm a lost cause, baby, don't waste your time on me. I'm damaged beyond repair. I can't sing right because I can't breathe through my nose, but I had to leave this card out here because when I picked these up to move them, this was just sitting here like this and said broken, okay? And as soon as I did it, that part of the song, something's inside of me is broken. I hold on to anything that sets me free from this brokenness, from this sadness, okay? Um, so there is an energy of somebody who is feeling very, very broken, very, very sad about this situation or whatever has gone down. Um, you know, whoever this person is could feel like they're a lost cause. They're probably doing a lot of, you know, drinking and smoking, even though they know it's bad for them, but they're still continuing because, you know, somebody say me, say me for myself. I spent so long living in hell. I know my lifestyle is bad for my health, but something inside of them is, feels broken. And they definitely feel very, very broken about what happened in this situation. Okay. Whoever this is. This person is almost like telling you or has told you like they're a lost cause. Don't waste your time on them. Let's see. Lantern consciousness of light. See, whoever this person is, they don't see them for the person that they truly are. They don't. They see them in this darkness, okay? And they can choose to remove themselves from this darkness, okay? Whoever this person in the past, they trusted the wrong people, okay? This person... They have a very big heart, and I got to be real honest. Whoever this person is, feeling broken, holding on, you know, somebody say me, maybe doing a little too much drinking, smoking, knowing it's bad for themselves, but feeling like something inside of them is broken, it's because they trusted too much in the past. It's like they held on to so much trust and gave faith to people who in turn turned around and hurt them. And they fully trusted these people, okay? And right now, these people that have hurt this person in the past is what's keeping them broken. And so the only power that these people have over this, over this person is that they're not letting it, letting it go. They're not letting the past go. Okay, and as they let the past go, here's this beautiful card. Here comes these transitions, right? You have all the inner resources you need to cross whatever bridges are on your path, but they feel empty. They feel broken. They feel like they're not good enough. Somebody saved me from myself. They're their own worst enemy. <sniffs> Sniffle. Sorry. Try to gotta be able to breathe. Okay, but yeah. They're trying, you know, they, this person's going through a lot of transitions in their life, but it's like they don't feel good enough. They trusted the wrong people in their past, 
but they're not realizing they don't have to be this empty, broken soul for the rest of their life. And nobody else is going to be able to come in and save them. They're the ones that have to change their past. They just don't real past. They just don't realize this lantern and this fire that is burning inside of them. This person could be very, very creative, have a lot of very good creative aspects, be artistic or like just smarter than the regular person, but it's like they don't know how to release this creativity and this alchemy into the world because when they do, they can't be consistent. Why can't they be consistent? Because they get into this sense of emptiness, this sense of depression. Something inside of me is broken. So don't waste your time on me. Yeah, something inside of them is broken from something that happened in the past. But look, spirit, bottom of the deck, forgiveness. Hurt blocks are light. They have to learn to forgive this past. They have to learn to forgive what has happened and moved on. Because that hurt and that pain is dimming this person's light that has so much creativity, who is the phoenix, who is way smarter than the average the Joe that has so much potential inside of them. But in, instead, they let that hurt from the block, from the past block the light that, that is being shown upon them. And they have to forgive that. They got to forgive the past in order to move, move forward, okay? Let's see, though. Let's get to these cards that I was going to use, but that broken ended up sitting here. Let's see what else is going on with this person, Spirit. Let's see. Let's see. Somebody forgot their own power here. Or is their own worst enemy and continues to fuck things up, neglected? I failed to give you what you need. See what I'm saying? Own worst enemy. They know they neglected you in this connection, Okay. This person failed to give you what you needed and what you wanted. They might have been drinking heavily, getting depressed. They felt like they couldn't even be happy within themselves. So not only did they start neglecting themselves, they started neglecting you too, okay? Yeah, by holding back. By holding back. You and by not expressing what they were going through or how they were feeling at that time, this person was depressed. This person had inner trauma. This person was going through things on the inside, and somebody could have been asking them, like, What's going on? What's wrong? Talk to me. You know, you can talk to me about what's going on. And this person did it, they held back, they didn't express what they were going through. And it created a lot of confusion. They neglected to give you what you want needed, which was just like telling me what is wrong. What, what is the problem? Maybe I can help fix it. But this person just feels like they are broken. And it's a waste of tr time trying to fix them or trying to change things. Yeah, it's because... This person is one of those people, not saying egotistical in a bad way, but they don't like to see, to let people see their hurt. They don't like to let people see their pain. You know what I'm saying? And so instead of telling you what they're going through and how they're feeling on the inside, they let their pride get in the way and they held, hold back and act like nothing's wrong. This person's too embarrassed to say, mentally, I feel fucked up mentally I'm breaking down mentally you know what I'm saying some people just can't handle like nobody wants no pity party and nobody feels sorry for nobody at the end of the day but you would have it's like somebody was steadily asking this person what is wrong just talk to me and they did it they did it somebody saved me from myself they're their own worst enemy and the reason why they held back on telling you how they truly felt and what they were truly going through is because they had so much hurt that they were holding in from the past that was blocking their own light. They needed to talk about what has happened in the past. They need, need to speak on that. They need to try to get over that. But instead, they didn't want to talk about the pain. They didn't want to talk about what's what's been eating their ass up or what they've been holding on to. 
And when they did that, it made it worse. It made them more depressed, more broken, wanting to drink more, wanting to smoke more, forgetting who they are, moving further away from their own path. Yeah. Be, but being away from you with this reflection, being away from you has allowed this person to gain clarity. That they got to stop being their own worst enemy. They got to stop holding back. They need to start showing emotion. Somebody in their past growing up made this person feel that showing emotion or crying or speaking on their feelings is a sign of weakness. Somebody really fucked this person up mentally. Not only trauma from trusting the wrong people, okay? And then being hurt, okay? And finding it hard to forgive. Not only that, there could be some parental issues where they find it very hard to forgive because this person hurt them in the past. And that carries over. Because I'm definitely feeling like somebody was made to feel weak if they showed emotion. If they spoke on their feelings. Like somebody made them feel like a pussy or like they were weak. And this is also something that holds them back from their divine light. They've got to open up. They got to show their weakness. They got to show their vulnerabilities. And otherwise, if they're holding it in, they're going to continue to feel broken. It's going to continue to stay inside. But when they can start speaking on it and talking about it, this shit can start finally being released. Okay. And they can start finding themselves again. And they can start realizing that ain't everybody the same as your past. That there are people that you can trust out here. But you're giving these people power by holding on to the hurt that they did. That they caused. Let me get one more of these cards, Spirit. Yeah, detachment. This person needs to detach from whatever this is from the past that's holding them back because they know that the chemistry between the two of you guys is, is something that they've never felt. It says, I, I have never felt a passion this intense. They've never felt anything like this. Not from childhood, not in any other relationships. They've never felt a love like you. I'm hearing that Shaka Khan song. Ooh, shit, but I've never found a love like you. I've never seen a love like this. Maybe it's Paula Abdul. But whatever it is, they have never felt the chemistry that they feel between you. They've never felt the intensity. They've never felt that love. Even though what's so crazy is people from the, their past have hurt them so bad that they didn't even feel that with. But they can't open up to that chemistry and that love and that passion because this hurt is holding them back. This whole this hurt, yo, here it is, it's holding them back. Caused them to neglect you and not tell you what they were going through. And now they're reflecting. Now they're saying they shouldn't have been so detached, okay? They shouldn't have been so detached from you. They should have had let you know what they were going through so that you could help them detach from the past, okay? And move on and be happy. Because the chemistry you guys have, they've never felt anywhere else. And you are the one that has been chosen to help them heal, to help them detach, to help them grow, to help them let go of these childhood traumas, to help them realize that showing their feelings and being vulnerable isn't fucking weak. Let's see, spirit. Let's see. Let's see. Let's get a message for this person who's feeling so broken. Yeah, trust. This situation is calling for this person to have trust. You know, they're, they're so, look, trusting tricksters. You know, that's been their problem. They've been worried about opening up and trusting the wrong people. And this situation is calling for this person to have trust and realize everybody is not the same. Look, reconciliation and soulmate coming out together, okay? Yes, this is your soulmate, and they know this. They know that there's this chemistry and passion. They've never felt this anywhere else. Yes, spirit is confirming this is your soulmate. 
okay? And they are returning. Somebody from your past is returning to your life. Soulmate and reconciliation. They are coming back, okay? Because something that they did from holding back caused a detachment in this connection, okay? And now they feel broken. They feel like they're their own worst enemy, drinking, doing too much to try to avoid it. But they know they're coming back. Somebody from your past is returning, and, it, and it's this soulmate. And they're going to be, look, look, bottom of the deck. And I was just about to say, and they're going to be more open this time and vulnerable. And look, getting to know each other, bottom of the deck, what you don't see. As you reveal your innermost spirit come through, man. I love my spirit guides. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. As they start showing their vulnerability and their weakness to you, and they're going to come back showing you a different side because they know. They know you're not everybody else. They know that they, they should trust you. They know that they held back and neglected you. They know that they were their own worst enemy, but now they're going to come in and they're going to reveal their innermost self. The parts of them that they didn't want to talk to anybody else about. And that's what's going to help their healing. That's what's going to make this bond deepen. Because when you're asking what's wrong and they ain't telling you, it's causing frictions. Now they're going to tell you everything thing that's wrong. Everything that's gone wrong. They're going to show their innermost self. And your bond is going to deepen into such... Like, you're going to make them feel so comfortable. Like, everything they were taught and everything that was drilled into them was a lie. They can be vulnerable. They can be happy. They can show their true self without somebody using it against them. You're not everybody else. All right? All right. That's what I have for you guys. If that resonates at all, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, loves. Peace.